we could see a return of La Nina once again later this year. The National Weather Service has issued a La Nina watch, giving about a 60% chance it develops this fall or winter. If it does occur, it will be the fifth time in the last six winters that we have seen either La Nina or La Nina-like conditions across the central and eastern equatorial Pacific Ocean. So what are the potential impacts for the countryside if La Nina becomes established? One of the impacts is to see drought tending to spread, particularly in the western and southern part of the United States. We're still trying to claw our way out of that drought as we move through 2025. We saw a two and a half year period from late 2020 into early 2023, where we saw more than 40% of the contiguous United States experiencing drought. You get that cool water, it tends to cut off some of the tropical atmospheric moisture from reaching the United States. And that is one of the big reasons we tend to see increases in drought coverage in the Western and Southern United States during La Nina. Then as we move into the Southern United States, States. Concerns there as we move on to the winter months would be impact on rangeland, pastures, feed for cattle, as well as the upcoming winter wheat crop. Definitely something to consider even with all the recent moisture we have received. A La Nina weather pattern could impact growing conditions for the 2026 year.